I'm hoping this is going to be a quick review uh, for those of you who've asked me to do a gear review about the Gimpro uh, door mount that I use. It's a Mark 1, so it's quite an old version of this door mount. There's a Mark 2 out at the moment which fits more vehicles I believe. Now these are made in South Africa by a guy called Ralph from a company called Gimpro Gear and I'll stick the website down below so you can go and order one if you want but they're really great things to have on your car when you're photographing wildlife because they steady up your lens. Now I bought mine originally because I had a huge uh, Sigma 300 to 800 millimeter lens which weighed over six kilograms on its own and another half kg with the camera on the back of it. So that didn't have image stabilization either and when you had it at 800 mil or even worse when you had a, an extender on it that thing really needed good stabilization. But I'm glad I got the GIM Pro because I use it now on my 400 2.8 and it's a great thing to have because you can unlike other door mounts wind the window up on your car and keep the dust outside and all the elements outside and keep your door mount mounted and you can't do that with other door mounts which is really really useful in this part of the world with lots of dust rain etc etc now the other thing that I like about this particular door mount is that you can leave the lens mounted to it and this is really useful if you've got a small lens uh, you know something like a 100 to 400 maybe a 300 to 8 uh, even the 400 that I use I can leave mounted if I, if I wish uh, and I can just put one hand on it uh, to stabilize it and if it's a small lens I don't even need to do that because the thing is leveled on the gimbal so let's see how it works Right, let's see what we got in this bag, bag of tricks. I'll put the camera down so I can use two hands to get this stuff out. So first off, we have this suction cup thing. I don't know what the technical term is, but it's a vertical support. And then we have the, the Gimpro itself, which is a nice, hunky, chunk of metal. And I'm going to mount this on the outside of this Land Rover door and the way I mount it is quite simple. I just clamp it with this clamp here. Right first things first let's stick this on the side of this. So it's got leather covered uh, bits on the ends so you don't scratch your paintwork. So that's really nice. You just hook it around to the edge of the door and then screw up the clamp. Now you can see at this point that it's still a little bit loose, which is fine because that's what the uh, sucky upright thing is for. So here's the sucky upright thing. All that happens is we screw this aluminium sucky thing into this part of the Gimpro and then arrange it so that we can clamp it onto the door with the suction mechanism, close these clamps and now we have a rock hard gimbal. So you can probably tell this is why I don't do gear reviews, I'm absolutely useless at them. This however is a nice piece of kit that you can really improve your wildlife photography with. It certainly makes things a lot easier for me. I'm just going to go and get the gimbal mounted on here so you can see what that looks like. Right, here's the gimbal. You can see it's got a uh, really nicely machined uh, aircraft anodized aluminium. Uh, it's got all the bits you need. So you can move up and down and hit this bit, which makes it really easy to photograph a bird up in a tree, high up in a tree, because you can raise your lens or lower it. Uh, these are all ball bearing raced. Uh, they're not rubber, like you get on some brands, and the rubber wears out, or it's either off or it's on. These have a nice degree of uh, fluidity to them. So you can just 
tighten them up gently. They don't have to be full on or full off. And then here is the pièce de résistance, a little clamp that you can pull off and remove the skimble from the door mount whenever you want and replace it with another head. So I have a ball head, a video head and a gimbal mount all with these little things on that I can just place on here and clamp on really easily. And here we are, I have my gimbal mounted, ready to go. One of the things that I really like about this gimbal uh, and, and this door mount compared to other systems that you see, uh, you know, just the typical uh, mount that you get, a window mount, a little uh, bean bag or whatever, is the articulation. This articulation is a game changer. You can swing it in through the window, uh, you can swing it out like this. It really, really helps you to get the shot because you can move that lens around so much with so much stability, especially big ones, you know, really heavy ones. And also for video, all of these ball bearing races really help to move this thing with fluidity through the shot so you don't get those horrible jerks that you do when you move a video camera uh, normally. So all in all, yeah, it's a great tool. It's a really great tool, very inexpensive. Uh, when I bought it, I thought for what it offers in terms of value, it's made out of chunky, heavy duty stuff. It has served me for a number of years now in the harshest conditions. And uh, if you wanna grab one, the link's below. I don't get anything from this video. I have to pay full price, price like everyone else. And uh, I'm just reviewing this because people have asked me to and also because it's a product that I really do recommend.